Hi everyone. So it looks like you asked for some videos that weren't just kawaii animals. Kawaii mean cute. And um, so we're going to do a chameleon today. This is a great project because chameleons come in lots of different colors and you can use any kind of colors you want. You can use colored pencils, watercolors. Um, I've done this in my studio classes with um, oil pastels as well. So we're going to draw the chameleon and then um, hopefully you'll have a good time coloring it in, on your own. Um, for this video we're just going to draw the chameleon and you see I have a reference photo here. Um, it's great to have a reference photo of your own whenever you're drawing anything. It helps you to draw what you see. So if you could um, Pick a reference photo for the next thing you want to draw. That's always a great way to start. Um, we're going to use paper, pencil, an eraser, and if you have colors, markers, crayons, colored pencils, um, things like oil pastels work great for this project. Okay, so let's start with a regular pencil and an eraser. And I'm going to hold my paper horizontally, so the long way this way. So I'm going to start with my chameleon's eye. So I want the eye to be a circle. And I'm putting it toward the right side of my paper because I have to draw this long body here. So just around that eye now, I'm going to draw in a shape I like to call an avocado shape. We could call it an egg shape. So it's a little narrower at this right side and a little bigger at the left side. And that eye that I made is almost in the middle of this rounder part here. Okay. And just underneath our eye, we're going to start with our chameleon's mouth. Do we see that this mouth is a pretty long mouth and it goes all the way out to the edge of our egg shape or avocado shape. Okay. Now for the chameleon's body, you see that the back of the chameleon has this tall round ridge. So we want to draw another oval or um, avocado shape, egg shape. And you see that I'm coming up higher than the top of the head. So I want to come up a little higher than the top of the head. And I'm overlapping my avocado shape. It's just going to go just underneath this egg shape here. Okay, so there's my chameleon's body. This body shape is about twice as long as the head. So if I wanted to measure my head with my pencil and then come out to about here, and about here, it's just about twice as long as my um, head shape. So if you're worried that you didn't make it long enough, that's a good way to tell. All right, so below our oval that we made, we're just gonna put in a line for the branch. I'm gonna put this pretty close to the bottom of my larger body shaped oval here and this is going to be the top of the branch and you see the branch on our reference has a lot of bumps in it you can make your branch a straight line you can make it a little more bumpy either way is fine you get to design your own branch here now coming from the back of the body here we're going to start our tail and the tail is going to cross over this branch and curve around. So you're making almost a full circle here with the tail. And the tail comes from the top of that oval. And then from the bottom of the oval, we're going to make the bottom of the tail. You see the tail's really wide here, but it gets narrower as it goes toward the end of the tail and the end of the tail ends up in a point. 
The tail in our reference drawing wraps around the branch. We're just going to draw our tail as a simpler curve here. Now we want to put in the legs. So at the back of the oval or the egg shape we made for the head, I'm going to start the front leg. So I'm going to start with this backward C shape and then draw the top of this chameleon's front arm. These are parallel lines. So I made a long U shape here. Now I want to grab onto that branch. So I'm going to curve it around and cross over my branch here. And then a parallel line that stops right at the top of my branch. We're going to stop there because we're going to put in a little bump for our chameleon has almost like a thumb. Their front feet look a little bit like mittens. So this is going to be part of the chameleon's front foot. And then I'm going to extend the rest of the arm onto the branch into a U shape. This is going to be the kind of a mitten shape here. Now if I trace over the top of my branch and connect my mitten, I have my chameleon's front foot. The other foot's going to come out from just under the body and come parallel lines. These lines are going toward the right. They're going toward the front of my chameleon. And I'm going to stop right at the top of my branch. Then for this foot, I want to make a U shape. and then that little bit of a thumb again. So I'm going to just finish off my branch here. My branch should be about as wide as the feet or a little wider. So you can come right down to the bottom of those, those hands we made. I'm going to make my branch a little bumpy. I'm going right off my page. Now, because the tail is in front of the branch and the hands are in front of the branch, I want to go in with my eraser and erase all the lines of the branch that are inside the tail and the hands. Okay, our chameleon now needs the back foot. So where our body and our tail meet, we're going to start with a line that comes across and comes down to our branch. This is going to be the chameleon's knee. And then from the bottom of the tail, we're going to make the bottom of the leg. And this is a parallel line that makes the same turn. So we're coming across and down at an angle. And now I want to come all the way across my branch here. So my leg is going to come all the way across the branch. And at the top of the branch, I want to make one of those thumbs again. And the bottom of the branch I want to come up straight and give it a little bit of an L shape. This is now my chameleon's bottom foot. And we're lucky because we don't have to draw the other foot. We can't see it in our reference picture. It's hidden behind our chameleon. I'm now going to erase the back of the body oval, the left side of it so that the tail and the body are one. And there's also a little bit of the body inside this foot here. I forgot to erase this. 
So anything inside that front arm you can erase. Now chameleons have a little bit of a crest on their head. So what I'm gonna do is just make the head have a little bit of a crest. So I'm following the edge of my oval for my head and coming up a little higher. And now I want to give a little curve. This is a little bit like a C. And then come down and I'm coming right to the front of my oval. So I'm just giving a little bit of a shape here. This is that crest on the front. A lot of times on chameleons, these are a different color. I also want to make sure we put in the black pupil in the center of our chameleon's eyes. Chameleons have big bulgy eyes because they can look in a lot of different directions. Their eyes can rotate around and they can look all around them. And then the last thing we're going to do is add some of these stripes. So with the chameleon stripes, they're a little bit like tiger stripes. They're not a straight line stripe. I'm going to make them wide at the top and get narrower. They're a little bit wavy. They don't have to be an even kind of stripe. They can be some fat and some thin. So the wavier and the more um, bumpy they are, the better. So I'm putting my stripes. I'm not going to outline these stripes with my pen. I'm just putting them in. You can even put some on the legs if you want. And the arms. So I'm making them wider on one side and narrower on the other. And there's my chameleon. So now I'm going to take, I like to use these ultra fine point Sharpies, but if you have any kind of black pen, I'm going to outline all the way around my chameleon. I want to get in the mouth there. You can use this pen too for the center of that eye. It's just a small black area. I'm not going to outline my stripes. I'm just going to use color for those. So if I use a different color and it blends into the color next to it, that's okay. It looks a little more natural that way. At the top of my chameleon, you see I'm using my pen and making some tiny little zigzags. You might notice on this reference drawing that this chameleon has little tiny um, scales and little bumps. It's not quite like a dinosaur with the big scale sticking up, but a similar, um, a similar zigzag kind of um, plates on the back. So I'm going to use my pen and make this back line, instead of just outlining it like I did with my pencil in a straight line, a smooth line. I did the whole back all the way around and around the back of the tail as a little bit of a spiky line. Now I'm going to use my pen to outline the rest and I'm going to do this in a smoother line. 
And because the chameleon is a live animal, it doesn't have to be that smooth a line. Now I'm going to do my branch. And you see I made my branch a little bumpy. Not quite as bumpy as the branch I made or I drew or I have in my reference picture. I want to finish off this crest at the front of my chameleon. Now I'm just going to erase some of the lines. I want to leave those stripes. I'm going to erase the lines I don't need, the lines that maybe I changed a little bit, um, some of the shape here. I'm going to leave the lines for my stripes so I know where they are. And because they're in pencil and they're light, they won't show up too much when I put my marker on there, but I'll be able to see where I want to have my different colored stripes. Okay. So when we draw with marker, and you can use colored pencil here as well, I like to draw with lots of different color markers I like to start with my lighter colors first. And anyone who's taken my classes knows things like bark on a tree, tree branch. I like to use lots of different colors of brown and lots of small lines like these so that it looks like the bark of the tree. If you draw lots of smaller lines and they're all going in the direction that this tree is growing and you see I'm using my lighter colors first it looks more like a tree branch so I use my lighter brown first I can go in with a little bit darker brown and use my lines in the direction that the bark is growing, the tree is growing, and it starts to look like tree bark. And then for your chameleon, because they come in so many colors and they also change colors as a way to camouflage, you can really go crazy with whatever colors you like with your chameleon. This reference picture I have here has almost every color of the rainbow in it. It has green and blue and yellow and orange. There's a little red, so um, maybe not purple, but um, if you want to go in with, again, using your lighter colors, um, you know, I'm going to start with maybe something like a light blue for the um, stripes. If you have colored pencils, you can certainly do this in colored pencil. You can use oil pastel or crayon, whatever you have at home. Since we're all at home right now. So that's one of the lighter colors I picked. And then if I want to go in with um, maybe some green in here, I can do some green. I'm starting with my lighter colors. I can go in with darker colors as well. I can mix in colors. Um, markers do mix a little bit. Colored pencils are great colors to um, 
layer so you see I can put some color over the color I have. So I put some yellow over the green. And that's our chameleon. So have fun coloring and finishing him up. And um, I'll be back with some more videos. And hopefully you guys are drawing at home and staying safe and having a good time. So I'll put up some more videos soon. Thanks for joining.